It's cold. It's cold. That's why we grow beards. Yep. Uh, we have about six more miles on the river. We're the Farnsworths. We're an RV travel nurse family, and we've been on the road for three and a half years. And this summer, we've been exploring Alaska. We wanted to make the most of our time left in Alaska as John's contract was nearing the end. We figured what better way to top off our trip to the Kenai than with the float ride down the river. We chose Alaska River Company at the suggestion from one of our friends, the Crows, and we are so glad we did. Andrew was our guide and because we chose the day after Labor Day, when all the campers had gone home, we got the raft and most of the river all to ourselves. Uh, we're going to be launching right from our backyard, uh, right here, this little yellow dot, this is us. Uh, we're going to be floating 17 miles today, Woo. so we'll get past <laughs> Schooner's Bend, which will be our first rapid here in the upper section. Uh, after that, until we get to the canyon section, it'll be pretty calm. Uh, so after Jim's landing here, we'll be getting into the canyon, uh, which will be a little bit more remote, getting into some upper class twos, lower class threes. Bear Beach. Bear Beach. Hopefully we see some bears out there today. Yes. Hot. I know. I'm already. I'm already warm. I was like cold. Now I'm. Now I'm warm. It's cold. It's cold. That's why we grow beards. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna help you out here for just a second, then it's gonna be all up to you. Okay. Future rafting guide, maybe. Totally. Hey. Oh! <laughs> that was close, huh? <laughs> it's almost like Andrew knew what was gonna happen. I know. <laughs> Six million? The coho salmon were everywhere, and it was thrilling to see their red color against the teal blue waters. The kids took turns rowing during smooth water and betting on who would get wet in the rapids. Water. Good job! Nice. High fives! We have about six more miles on the river. to the end of the river ride. We just had our lunch. 
Why are you carrying our lunch? I'm still having my lunch. Oh, you're still, she's still having her lunch. And over here, you can just barely see it, but this little spot right up here, whoop, <laughs> right there, that is the Harding Ice Field. So on the other side of Kenai National Park in Seward, where we went to Exit Glacier, that's part of the Harding Ice Field up there. So it's really cool. Uh, the Kenai Peninsula is just beautiful. We're gonna play around here on the beach for a little bit and then I think we have a hike out to get back to um, the shuttle back to Cooper Landing and, and then we'll call it a day, but it has been so fun so far. You can kind of see the yeah. the claws right mm -hmm. here. Those are the claws. Good time I don't know how tall you are right now. Forty-eight yeah. inches, maybe. Fifty. No, I don't think you're 50 inches. That. Look at how tall the moose. What are they called? Antlers. What are the things called, though? Rubs. Rubs, thank you. <laughs> Rubs. Honestly, I think I'm addicted to halibut now. <laughs> what do you think, Bubba? 10 out of 10. Okay, that was so good. I have yet to try fish and chips, halibut fish and chips that I didn't like. They are so good. Halibut is just so tasty. It's like, it has a little bit more flavor than normal like fish and chips, like the cod fish and chips, in my opinion, and it's so much flakier. Mm. So good. After a delicious dinner in Cooper Landing and with our bellies full, we took in the beautiful views on the Kenai Peninsula as we drove back to Anchorage. After three months in the same spot, it was time to pack up and get ready to leave. The kids had made some friends and they were sad to say goodbye. These were the same friends who taught Chloe to ride her bike that traded Pokemon cards and played Minecraft together, who hung out at the playground, made forts around the RV park, met at the crab apple tree, and carved wooden swords together. They rode bikes, rollerbladed, and scooted until the sun went down, or until someone had to go inside. If they're watching right now, we hope they know they are missed, and they made our summer in Alaska even more memorable. And Charlie and GP, I promise the boys will email you back soon. And so we are off, at least off to Palmer. <laughs> it feels like we're off because we've packed everything. We're not going to get things out at our campsite in Palmer. We're gonna keep it packed up. We have some last minute things to do like oil changes and check on the tires and that kind of thing. We chose Matanuska River Park because it was right next to the Palmer Bike Park that the kids loved so much. It was the last week they were open for the season, so it was a win-win for us as there were not very many people there. I got my bike 
bag back. It got stolen. I got it back. And whoever stole it, well, raised the seat. And, yeah, uh, it's a little rough. It's then, uh, stuck there now. And they broke off the uh, thing to adjust it. We took a little break from getting everything ready to go and decided to take a, a bike ride because we're right at the base of the Matanuska River, which if you remember from our video a few weeks ago, we got to go visit Matanuska Glacier and hike on it, which was so awesome. And uh, that is the terminus that feeds this river. Helmet's all off, lopsided. Um, and this goes all the way out, not quite to Anchorage, but in that direction. And this is such a beautiful area right here. As it turns out, fall weather is phenomenal in Alaska. Stunning colors, not too cold, and there's more sunshine. We took the Jeep up to Hatcher Pass, just north of Palmer, to explore. So we made it up to Independence Mine, and this was a recommendation to us, I think, on, I don't know, TikTok or YouTube. And it looks really cool, and there's lots of like ruins and things over here, but, they're gonna close soon and we really wanna take a Jeep ride. So we're going to skip it for now. I don't know if we'll get back to it. We might, but there's so much to do. There's just so much to do here and it does look really cool. We can appreciate historical stuff for sure. Absolutely. Um, but let's go for a drive. All the kids are sleeping back too. No, yeah, we're all, not. All, all but one. Oh, I wish you guys could hear the sound of the rushing water behind me. So back here, there's all these like little waterfalls and they're dumping into the creek and it's just, the rushing water is really cool. Isn't it pretty here? Doesn't it look like fall? Next week, we'll take you with us as we pack up and head out of Alaska. We've still got Denali to visit on the way out. And let's just say we didn't quite beat the snow. In true NOP fashion, we went out with a bang. So until then, we'll see you out there. <laughs>